Chief Team. I am Kusuma Gorbutiman. I am Sarah Yeah. I am Sarah Ladies and gentlemen, we are Nikasi team. I am Asunara Tanya. I am Sarita Tanya. School uniforms are a key way of developing a sense of togetherness among the students. But the topic is still widely debated among outside of schools. Although it is easy to see why school uniforms are important in the creation of a team of the United Students. Let's talk about the fairy dress code. When a school adopts a uniform, it creates a simple and standardized dress code, dress code. When children are allowed to wear whatever they like, it means that school must, that school must adopt a long list of do's and don'ts to formulate their dress code. These dress codes are often harassed on girls too, and also making an unfair and unequal community. Studies performed by Oxford Brookes University have shown that the introduction Dressing codes among students aged 13 to 17 to promote communally mean they didn't have to decide what they have to wear every day. And the professor Peter Wilson, who researches the field of modern and cognitive development in children, says that children are sensitive on clothing and brands and also had the potential to create in groups and out groups. By bringing in a uniform, schools can avoid those complicated issues around modesty, offensive symbols, and texts, and remove any needs of teachers' need uh, to monitor what children are wearing against the dress code. Thank you. Okay, according to Kusuma Gon just had mentioned, I think that might be true, but I think my opinion is more better. Like, okay, for example, when I am a student, I have to wear uniform, right? But when I see other people wearing like freestyle or private outfit, I think that in this world, we are not being equal right now. And it also sanctifies students' expression to show, to show their self or develop their personality to be better. And uniform go against teens' nature. Like um, during teenagers, they like to show their taste, their style, right? And they might explain themselves in a bad way, maybe tattoo piercings or bad behavior. And you can see that um, in foreign country, people like tend to wear freestyle clothes because they can wear whatever they want. And telling people what they have to wear instead of telling them to choose will stop this and may harm them as they try to figure out who they are as they grow up. One more reason that freedom of expression is guaranteed to all Americans at the first amendment of constitution. And some scholars think that uniform harm the freedom of students to express themselves. This freedom of expression is very important and schools should teach students this value not restrict it. Thank you. organization. Wearing a uniform can identify the students for the teachers and outsiders such as the community outside the school. It could help a school promote its brand through a uniform look. School uniform may also serve as a symbol of commitment of academic achievement. 
such as our uh, university uniform. From the research name, students, teachers, and school consider the perception of national school uniforms in Malaysia. Wearing school uniform means students and anyone who's observing them keenly aware of their status as, as the students. In this way, students feel different from the rest of society. Students feel automatically, automatically identified and group because of their school uniform. And this is and it's what not necessarily as a positive experience. The point is the clarified purpose of outcome is necessarily before the students turn their uniform in the morning. Okay, um even if people don't wear uniform, I think that they can study or work. Okay, I. Uh, it's true that our uh, the uniform is show the symbol of uh, schools or university or office that you have work or study. But I think that our uh, symbol is not necessary to show by wearing clothes. And other ways to show are uh, the symbol is uh, is how many ways to show and maybe respect or name tag or anything that you can yes but today i want to to talk about the uh the advantage of uh freestyle classes i think that or it's very comfortable yes for example when i wear freestyle classes it's very comfortable and convenient yes i think that i don't need to iron my classes anymore and i walk fluently and sit conveniently more than ever and in foreign country, people will tend to wear freestyle clothes because they are more agile and walking or sitting. Yes. Another reason why we shouldn't wear school uniforms, I think that we are tight. Yes. And when the t-shirt is tucked in, so that why some people want to have it untucked. Also, when it's a hot day, sometimes it's really hot and you will need to take your shirt, t-shirt out. School uniform are sometimes uncomfortable. And they are tied, the color is annoying, and the pants are very thin. Thank you. Okay, next about economics. Wearing uniform is still better than wearing pirates. Why? Such as if you wear pirate in have a code in the school. Student who is born in a rich family will deal with beautiful or expensive clothes, but student who is born in a poor family will deal with a cheap or own clothes. And it may result a poor student afraid to go to school. For example, when a poor student sees a rich student wear expensive clothes, sometimes it will make a poor student want to have a beautiful course like a rich student. And do you know what will happen next? A poor student may steal their parents' money to buy beautiful clothes like a rich student because a poor student is despised by rich student. Maybe because a poor student don't want his or her friend to know that he or she was born in a poor family. If you wear a student uniform, a rich person or for person will have the same level. They will not separate. Which student is least which student is poor. That's why wearing uniform is still better than wearing high weight. In America where a, ma a majority of school do not have uniform, roughly one hundred sixty thousand students miss school every day due to fear of attack or intimidation by other students. This might be directly linked to what they are wearing, but having uniform can be at a safety net for many students who might be otherwise suffer from bullying. Thank you. According to Shaiwa said, it might be it might be true, but I think wearing a freestyle dress is better than uniform 
Why? For a reason, I think. Free freestyle is saving the cost of the pairing. For a, for example, in Thailand, uniform is have three uniform like uniform, uh, gym uniform and scout uniform. It nowadays and and is it so expensive for some student in a poor family? For example, and nowadays the the global man is not support their uh, family that they poor, and that's really this. This reason why they can afford the uniform, three uniform. But if they wearing a freestyle, they can choose and buy a freestyle dress with a piece of mine and save the money of the parents. According to Shaiwat said that they will separate and classify uh, about the student that poor and rich. Is it, I think is is doesn't make sense because I have never seen this in real life. Okay, next. Um, and a uh, freestyle dress is can buy in a uh, second hand and at a lower price. This is a real situation that I have ever seen. Thank you. She said it too, but I think every school has a set of uniform that is unique to them and has its badge or local ambassador on the chest. This can be used to identify students as belonging to given school and help school to uh, help school staff and security quickly spot into the and any other individual who, who have do not belong because into the not wearing uniform and the including school uniform are a good start to uh, prevent a uh, violence because the school come from the different socio-economy and the student come from the uh, good background as well some are more privately than others it could make Students from poor background vulnerable to bullying, uh, to peering one. And in the event, the shy gets lot of the way, and whoever find them, they can let them to uh, the school correctly. And if the school, if the student have run away to the school, they are. Uh, Easily to the find them by the local authority and by the teacher. In the reduction of gang violence in school and contribute to other positive outcomes such as decreased behavior problem, increased learning, enhanced school climate, and improved self esteem. Thank you. Okay, it's my be true, but I think my only is depend on individual back back behavior. I think it's uh, not related with uh, how freestyle outfit. Okay, freestyle is private to wear something what you want to wear. Our office can define our style and our taste. In my viewpoint, I think wearing a freestyle outfit makes students more more confident. And for instance, wearing a private makes them have confidence and friendly to do outdoor activity. Private outfits are able to tell the taste of the weather as good. Even if wearing the uniform show the discipline of the school, but wearing the school uniform is ca is cannot hide inequality such as wars, back and necessity. Moreover, inequality including with a pen and pencil box, wearing private outfit had an advantage more than wearing school uniform. It may not be as convenient as it should be if women students wear a school uniform for practice, 
for practical activity in physical education class. It's common knowledge that Thailand is very so hot and high temperature in every season. It's not convenient to wear a school uniform. Everyone know wearing a school uniform makes students make better high temperature, but wearing private outfit makes students have more confidence and increase their uh, convenience. Statically, don't have the statistic confirm wearing uniform makes students have good leads so more than wearing a private suit. Most students of Bangkok Christian School comment that wearing private outfit can increase their confidence and they can do outdoor activity fluently as well. According to the research of Houston University of USA found that wearing private outfit is able to enhance their confidence. The research said that private outfits don't have an effect toward their behavior in primary school. So, wearing private outfit can increase their confidence and don't have effect as very uniform school. Thank you. Okay, so according to what they have just mentioned, I think that might be true, but I disagree for some point. I prepare like five factors. Um, first is about safety. Of course, I would say that very uniform can make violence too. Since they could promote bullying outside of the school. For example, when there are like um, enemies from different school, like what school came out from school, and what school came out from school, they can know that, yeah, is identity of that school and they might make some violence and the uniform will make them easily to identify and of course when go wearing some un like an alternate uniform they cannot do activity properly and you can see that in thailand girls uniform looks sexy in some guy's eye because of white shirt that sometimes you can look like you can see underwear and some girls wear short skirt, even though they wear uniform. 
So it's told that um, wearing uniform cannot control their behavior. Two is about cost. Cost like paying for uni uniform can undermine efforts to keep education free unless the government help them pay for uni uniform. And this will limit the efforts of students from poor background to have an education if their families can afford to buy the uniform. And if students are allowed to wear private outfit, students from poor background can simply shop for affordable or secondhand outfit. Nobody will be able to talk based on their clothes if they are good um, in a good condition. Three, economic. I think there are some boundaries between poor and rich people. Um, students from rich families will be able to afford like new uniform, more uniform, buy. Why poor student maybe can just afford one uniform and if them like they're wearing the same old clothes every day, they might get bullying too. And this is about human rights. To make people wear uniform is like without their permission or they unwillingly to wear it is like why all this human rights to freedom of expression. According to the research of Houston University, um, USA, found that wearing a private outfit is able to enhance their confidence and can let them have a chance to explore themselves, develop their personality. And the research said that private outfits don't affect toward their behavior in primary school or um, in any condition. And last, symbolized organization. I think wearing plywood outfit doesn't affect symbolized organization as long as they know how to wear it properly. And you can have like a name tag or wristband to show that to show your organization, just like other companies do, and it looks more modern in in my opinion. And I think being violent or having bad behavior it depends on the personality, not because of what they wear. Thank you. Okay, since we've been arguing since the beginning, I would love to talk about some factors that lead and re relate into our topic. The first thing that I want to talk about is about comfortable. As you can see, you like wearing comfortable clothes, but when it comes to reality, you wear jeans, which is tight. And you compare into the uniform. Which one is tighter? It is obviously, right? And also, as you can say, Thailand is the uh, hot country. We have to face the high temperature almost every day. Hot, so hot, super, super hot in the area. And you say that the uniforms are thin. It is related, actually. When the uniform has to be thin, it's because of the high temperature. As similar as in Japan, they also have the uniform there, but their uniforms are quite thicker than our uniforms because of they are in a very cold place. Next, I would love to talk about the identifying. You said that you can identify yourself as a wristband or a name tag, but have you ever heard you cannot judge the book by its cover? But you can judge who is the student when it comes to wearing uniform. So, I would say that wearing uniforms is formal and appropriate. As you, you say that uh, wearing uniform is sexy for Thai. Compared to Japanese, they wear short like this. Thai are longer. Next, about the economy. This is very important because we've been talking about it. So many people were talking about it. You know that in government, they give you at least the price for the uniform. As you can say, uh, as you can know that they are 15, right? 15 years that they were giving us uh, money for the uniform. And as you can see, the rich people 
and the poor people. When it comes to the uniform, we meet in the center. Also, as you can say, you you, all, you also say about the second hand. You cannot you uh, when you rich, you wear rich. You poor, you wear poor. You wear second hand and stuff. I love to wear Gucci, Louis Vuitton. I don't like wearing second hand. So, this you say that uh, for some people, poor people, they wear same uniform every day. Same uniform, but you know the same. Old uniform is still better than second hand and Louis Vuitton. Next, about the violence and bully. About the violence and bully. Okay, you say that it, it doesn't matter whoever you meet, whatever you are, violence and bullies can happen anywhere and every part in the world. But when you wear uniform, of course you're gonna concern about it. You're gonna concern that that person is a student. Who did you want to commit a crime to between students and the normal people that wear normal clothes? Different, right? Okay, the last thing that is really, really, really interesting that Ms. Atima already said, the enemies. I'm gonna tell you something, girl. You know that you don't have to have contrast with any or anybody, any uh, organization but I can remember your name. I can remember your face. This uniform means nothing when it comes to enemy, when they have against the organization, a different school or a different um, college. I remember your face. I see your face and I attack you. So, okay, and in conclusion, I think the uniform, having a uniform for students is better. Thank you. 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 Thank you.